What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Olight Sigurd. This is a weapon mounted light with 1450 lumens on high and 290 lumens on low. Now, I want to go ahead and tell you guys, if you want to pick up one of these lights or any other light that Olight makes, along with some new American flag design lights, they're having a Memorial Day sale starting May the 16th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time through May the 18th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. Link in the description below. And remember, if you see anything that's not on sale or you ever want to buy anything that's not on sale, you can always use discount code GearRunner to save 10%. All right, guys, so this light attaches via Picatinny rail, as you can see here with this HK SP5. And the way this works, you have a button on this side or a button on this side. So either button you wanna push will turn off or on the light. Now the light always comes on on low, uh, which is 290 lumens. To get it to high, you just double click this and it jumps it up to the 1450 lumens. Now, if you turn it back off and you turn it right back on, um, you get 1,450 lumens again. I think that 1,450 lumens will stay kind of memory in the light for like one minute. And then it drops back down to the 290 lumens. Now, if you just push and hold and let go, you do have a momentary. One other thing about this is this is almost like one of the Magpul um, angled four end grips where you kind of have like a four end built into it, except where theirs doesn't have a light on the end, this one, it actually does. And like I said, you can double click it, get back down low, double click, it gets back to high. We will do a beam shot here in just a second um, after I go through some uh, everything about it, some of the specs and stuff like that. But um, I will show you a beam shot back at the house in, in Tennessee so that you can see how this compares to other lights. But I do want to tell you this right off the bat. One thing about Olight lights is they are all pretty much rechargeable. So they do have this magnetic uh, recharging uh, station back here. And you, as you can see, I can actually get a uh, rechargeable pad. It's just a little thin pad. I'm, most of y'all probably own O-lights, but I can still get that in there even with the mag well kind of protruding down just a little bit. Now you can put this on anything you really want to put it on, you know, key mod, you know, M lock, anything that you can attach a pick rail on um, you can attach this too, and it attaches via a screw right here. They do send you the recharging cord. They do send you uh, an Allen key to actually attach this with, and they actually send an extra screw in the box in case you lose this one. So I've not had this light real long, but I will say it feels pretty good on this HK. You know, this is a pistol, so I'm not allowed to have a vert grip. You have to have like an angled grip or, something, or a hand stop or something like that. So this would work perfect on this little pistol right here. And it's very comfortable. And I do want to say is you can reach that. Even with like a clamp style grip, um, I can still reach the button on either side of this to actually turn the light off and on. So it is fully ambidextrous. Um, good, good that they put that on both sides. And uh, the light has been 100% solid so far. Uh, this isn't my first one. I do have another one of these that I wound up getting off a of buddy in a trade. Um, and that one's run flawlessly as well. The recoil has not affected it or anything like that. I've not had any flickering or issues or anything. And uh, there again, if you're looking on a way to put a light on something that may be a little difficult to put a light on and it happens to be a pistol, you can put this on a rifle too, uh, but this just might be the perfect setup for you because it's all made into one configuration and uh, it's one small package. It's not that heavy and it don't add a lot of weight to your pistol and or rifle, depending on which one you put on. This happens to be on a Knight's Armament rail on this HK and uh, it fits perfectly tightens down great and uh i've had no issues with it now let's take a look at the beam shot in the backyard all right guys you know the routine that fence down there is about 25 yards there's like a dirt pile up behind it. it's about 80 yards there's a back fence up there that's around 100 yards and there's a tree way up on top of the hill that is actually about 280 ish yards now we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing on to low and it'll be 290 lumens. You can see it has a nice hot spot out there. Easily pick up that tree and that fence right there. That tree is probably closer to 30 yards. As we go up, we did have a rainstorm day, so it's a little bit foggy out there. Um, I can barely make out that 80 yard dirt pile, um, but easily anything around probably 50 yards 
um, you can pick that up and see if, um, identify someone and see if they have something in their hand. Well, let's go ahead and double click this and pop it on up to 1450 lumens. Now, 1450 lumens, you see you get a lot more spill. Not only do you have that hot spot, let's turn it back down. You can see that spill kind of goes away. The hot spot's more defined on low. Turn it up, you get a lot more spill. You still have a very defined hot spot. We go up, uh, that fence up there is very easily seen at 100 yards. If we go up, I really can't make out that tree up on top of the hill. I mean, I can see like some of the branches and stuff. It will illuminate that. But I could probably easily make out somebody up there at about, I don't know, maybe 130, 40 yards. I could probably make somebody out, especially if it wasn't quite as hazy as it is now. Uh, maybe even out close to 150 yards. But definitely at that fence line right there, it's 100 yards. Um, I could easily make out someone and identify if they had anything in their hand. And probably on out, like I said, even as hazy it is, probably at least on out to 120 or 30 yards, I could do the same thing. Again, you can see the spill that the 1450 lumens has versus the 290. Way more spill. It just throws the light out there a little more. And that hot spot gets a lot brighter and a lot more throw when you bump it on up to that 1450, of course. All right, guys, so there you have it. You've seen it attached to my HKSP5. You've seen the beam pattern in the backyard. Um, I think the beam pattern, especially on high, was great. You have excellent throw along with some really nice spill to see the surrounding area around you. And uh, what are my final thoughts? Well, I think the Olight Sigurd would make a great light for home defense. Um, especially on like a pistol option where you can't have a burnt grip. You have this angled grip here and a light all attached into one so you don't have to have a more heavy um, accessorized gun for home defense. And I know a lot of you have talked about in the comments having a high lumen light for inside the house with white walls and mirrors and stuff like that where the light may reflect back into your eyes and affect your night vision. So that 290 lumens I think would be great for home defense. And then if you had to move outside or you really wanted to disorient an assailant, you could always bump that twice and bump it up to that 1450 lumens, which would be, you know, very disorienting for somebody if it hit them in the face, especially if their eyes were dilated to the night. Um, so I think this would be a excellent option for home defense. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And remember the sale going on from May the 16th at 8 p.m. through May the 18th at 11.59 p.m. at the time of this video going up. Remember there is a link in the description to that sale. And remember if anything is not on sale or you ever want to order anything from Olight, you can always use discount code GearRunner to save 10%. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. We'll see you next time.